Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sushi channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at three FV cameras from a new brand. Well, actually new brand, FXT isn't a new brand, but they are new in the FV camera scene. Uh, maybe you've come across uh, their cameras. And I was interested to see if these cameras are actually legitimate options. A while back we were greeted uh, by uh, the arrival of Cadex cameras. Uh, you know them by now. And those are, well, uh, slightly lower budget than, uh, for instance, Runcam cameras, as you probably are aware. But it's always good to have more competition, right? So, for that reason alone, I want to see if these these FXT cameras are actually a legitimate option. Now in this video I'm going to take a look at uh, all three of them, but we'll have a closer look at this one, the Mars Pro. At the moment of uh, the shooting of this video, their top spec camera. And I'm going to be comparing it to a Roncam Eagle 2 Pro. So that won't be a fair comparison, <laughs> mind you, uh, because the uh, Runcam Eagle 2 Pro is uh, quite a bit more expensive than this one. But it's good to see how this camera does compared to, well, the best, arguably, what you can get for your money at this point. Okay, let's first have a look what you get if you order these cameras. Alright, the three camera flavors from FXT. The two cameras on your left, this one and this one, are both micro cameras, so um, quite a bit smaller than this one, but still this one is smaller than a regular size of FPV camera. This is known as a mini camera. And again we're going to be taking a close look at this Mars Pro. All these cameras are available in three colors, white, uh, I don't have a white one, uh, orange and green, as you can see here. The cases on these two micro cameras are pretty square, as you can hopefully see. Um, this one as well. Uh, they're a bit more square, squarish than um, a Runcam camera. A Runcam camera is usually a little more rounded off at this side over here. Uh, what you can hopefully also see is that the connector on these cameras is the same for all three, which is nice. Uh, maybe at some point you'll have a Mars S and you want to upgrade to a Venus Pro or the other way around. Uh, an easy swap, right? Same connector, so that's definitely very nice. All three cameras also have an OSD. And that means that uh, these cameras can show you your battery voltage, your fly time and a call sign. Uh, those can be configured, uh, as in most FEB cameras, right? And speaking of, all these three cameras come with a control board, which you can hook up uh, to the camera to uh, set that OSD up or change any other setting in the camera, your uh, shutter speed and uh, uh, exposure and uh, saturation and such. It comes with a wire harness and it's a, a silicone wire harness which is good of course. They all come with a aluminium mounting bracket, a bunch of screws, quite a lot of screws actually, uh, they all come with that. And they all come with some uh, paperwork. Specifications. Just the specifications. Yeah, just the specifications. So no manual. Um, pretty sure there will be a manual somewhere online. And this mini version, the Mars Pro, comes with one extra thing. This plastic bracket. And that's pretty usual for mini cameras. This extra bracket elevates the size of this camera up to a, a normal size of camera. And uh, let me see uh, how does this actually work. 
like so. Yeah, like so. Okay, so with this extra plastic bracket, the width of this camera is now the same as in a, a regular FPV camera. And uh, maybe you need that uh, in your frame, right? So uh, that's why they supply this extra plastic frame. Now the Venus Pro and the Mars S, so the micro cameras in this series, I'm going to be using for projects uh, pretty soon actually, so you'll see those in action uh, in another video. Again, in this video we're going to be taking a close look at the Mars Pro and specifically its performance. See, we're going to be comparing it to a top spec FPV camera. And uh, here's what that looks like. Okay, so this is how we're gonna compare the two cameras. On your right over here, we've got the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro, a quality camera. I uh, don't think there will be a dispute about, <laughs> about that. And over here, we've got the FXT Mars Pro, their um, mini camera. Right, so and as you can see, it's slightly smaller than uh, a uh, regular size of uh, FPV camera. Right, and over here we've got two DVRs. Now, this is an uh, AKK DVR combined with a VTX. However, the uh, DVR, so the recorder electronics, in both of these are identical. Um, I've tested that rigorously, and yeah, these two have no quality differences whatsoever. So on this one we'll be recording uh, the footage from the FXT Mars Pro and on this one we're going to be recording the footage from the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro. We're going to do three scenarios here. One in perfect daylight, sunny even, so that'll be easy for both cameras. Uh, easy circumstances for any FPV camera, right? Sunny weather can't be easier than that. The second series or the second comparison will be at dusk. So not completely pitch black, but uh, as you'll see there will be some uh, street lamps already on and uh, buildings will uh, be lit. So that'll be quite challenging for any camera, so uh, that'll show you um, well uh, what our reference camera does in those circumstances and what this new FXT Mars Pro does. And the third scenario is indoors, well semi-indoors in a parking garage and that again is quite challenging for any camera. So these three scenarios should give us a good indication of, well, um, the quality of this uh, FXT camera. Now I won't be doing any narration while showing you the, the footage comparison. You'll just have to make up your own mind. In my mind this is definitely an option. Quite a good camera actually. But again, you'll just have to make up your own mind. I won't be uh, influencing you uh, if you will, um, yeah. If you are looking for a new FPV camera, have a look at uh, this comparison and see if this would make a good camera for you. Here we go.